sh I never updated the images. Sh I just sat here for 10 minutes thinking about my life choices. Wow. Come on, are we are we my boop now? Yeah, we are. Oh my god, we're this boop right now. I'm boop the stack. I'm booping the step with magic the quack. Booping. It hasn't been a minute yet, but it's okay. It hasn't yeah. been a, I can I mean I can beep it. Nope. I, nope. I'm allowed to nope. Nope. I, nope. I, nope. 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 I'm literally wrong. beeping. Nope. Nope. I don't think you got your phone right now. Nope. nope. Wrong. Nope. Wrong. 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 False. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to the stack. Welcome back if you've been here before. My name is Deterger and we are playing Magic the Gathering. This time it's not budget because we want this game to end yesterday. That's basically the thought process here. But no one brought Perforos. That's sad. But no one brought Blue. That makes me glad. Today, today, I, like I said in the last last game and the game before, I still have I'm not starting though. with myself. I'm starting around the other way because I want to hear someone say his new catchphrase, uh, uh, Zoldog eats the void or something. What the f are you Zoldog, doing? Zoldog, he will gorge on your void. Tell it to me about that guy gorging on my void. So he's a six drop, seven four, making him ideal for gorging on your void. Um, he says, colorless spells I cast, seven mana or greater, have cascade, cascade. That's it. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> you play a big dumb cola spell and it comes with two friends. Is Akiri my friend? Akiri is your friend actually. We're gonna basically just play a bunch of like really obnoxious creatures because we don't like our opponents. And then we're gonna make these creatures big with equipment because you really don't like our opponents. And then we're gonna try to kill them because like what's funnier? You know, and we get the draw cards. And also she protects all of her creatures with equipment. It is real nice. Speaking of being really nice and kind, that's my segue to the commander I've never seen anyone play before, actually. Yeah, all right, real, so the fuck is I'll this? read this up because this is probably brand new to most people's lives. Uh, Mural, Shield of Argive. During your, my turn, your opponents can't cast spells or activate abilities of artifacts, creatures, or enchantments. When I, when Meryl Shield of Argive attacks, create X-1-1 colorless soldier artifact creature tokens for X to the number of soldiers I control. So, that makes this a soldier tribal deck and also a token generator deck. Um, the backstory is about a year ago, whenever Brothers War came out, I traded Chris for this card and said, I want to build this. And then a year later, here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh. I forgot I did trade that to you. That's right. Yeah. Because I saw this when it got spoiled, and I was like, I want to build that. And then a year later, it happened. Yeah. I mean, I have a whole box of decks I've been needing to build as well, yeah. so I get it. Uh, All right, Calvin, what's up? Speaking of a deck I don't mean to build, because it's been built since since back when I quit Magic the Gathering. It's my favorite tiny lore thing I love just dropping every now and then. Uh, Edgar Markov is a Magic the Gathering commander that has uh, a red, a white, and a black in his color identity. And then he has this effect in the command zone that says, when I cast a vampire, I make a vampire. Everything after that is sort of superfluous. So the reason why he's so fucking cool is he like just works out of the command zone and Wizards of the Coast refuses to reprint him in a meaningful way. So he's staying like $70. I don't like that. I really want to build him in budget, but to build him in budget, I basically have to build like, like a $50 budget deck. He didn't even show up in Commander Master. He wasn't even in Commander Master. That's really fucked up. Stupid. Like why? Just, like an etched foil would be sweet. An etched foil. Okay, an etched foil will be sweet, but this one is uh, Weeaboo. We weeaboo mag magic race Japanese. You're a weeb. <laughs> I'm also really thirsty because this is my card game I have pre-built with Edgar Markov. Markov Servant. Don't worry about it. Oh, I'll, yeah, now, I do, now I do it again to show Markov Servant. Oh. Don't worry about it. So I do just, you want to use that one or? No, you already shuffled that up. I want to see more Dark Condition Girl. I want to see the other thing my childhood was thirsty for. <laughs> Is it love and affection? I mean, I wasn't thinking here's about love and affection. Dark Magician Girl. Here's Dark Magician. Here's Dark Magician. Here's Dark Magician. Who, wants, about it? Who wants it? Well, thank you for the Dark Magician Girl. All right. Thank, thank you for the Dark Magician Girl. On the count of three. three. One, two, three. See, I told you. Oh, mm, nice. So we all got a playable hand, right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. All, all right. right. We got five cards. Draw. So I have a really good turn one. Uh, Planes, Asper Sentinel. Go That's ahead. pretty good. Nice. Planes, go. What? <laughs> Nobody play anything. Don't play Feed anything. Feed my Esper Sentinel. Survive Triumph, go. Nice. Got draw, neat. I'm going to play a command beacon and, and then say go. <sighs> you are all assholes. <laughs> uh, I'm going to play a land. And now I'm going to be the asshole. Here's a draft magistrate. Oh. Calvin, here's one. That's not nice. That's, That's very not nice. People like their commanders. What am I supposed I to do as a colorless deck? Here's, what am I supposed to do? There's a planes. Lightning Grizz, go. All right, you, yeah. On tap, upkeep, draw. This is stinky and poopy. Yeah, not really for you. You don't need to play your commander. It's still stinky and poopy. I mean, I, want, yeah. I don't want this to be a 1v1. I don't... I, 
It's going to be. Just play your cards. Just play your Command card. tower. I'm just casting Legion Lieutenant. When I cast a vampire, I make a vampire. Making a vampire with a vampire. I have vampires. Pass the turn. Draw. Ooh, okay. Uh, we're going to tap this for a colorless. Play Gildas Commons and then pass. On tap, <laughs> upkeep, I will draw. Uh, we'll play this land. We'll cast our commander. All right, and we're just going to poke you for two. Two it is. 38. Go ahead. Planes. Paying for Esper Sentinel, I'm going to play Folk Hero. Yep. Go ahead. Untap, upkeep, draw. Uh, Flooded Strand, crack it away. Beep. I want a scrub land. Beep. And then we are going to tap two, paying the one for the Esper Sentinel. Here is a Rakdo Signet. Yep. And then we're going to pass the turn. No attacks. Okay. Untap, draw. Uh, we'll replay the command beacon yep we're gonna pay one extra for the stop vessel and uh say go on tap a keep i'll draw look at us paying our taxes <sighs> come on uh, probably because we can there's nothing else we can do fair tap for two here's a lizard blades and then we're gonna equip the lizard blades to a kiri nice uh calvin here's a three double shriek i'll draw a card for attacking you wow i hate that uh Block with a token. Yep. Uh, go ahead. All right. On top of your draw, here's a planes for for a keeper of the accord. Boot him nice. up. He's booted. He is booted. The keeper of the accord gaining each opponent's end step for both the triggered abilities. If that player controls more creatures than you, you make a one one. And if that player controls more lands than you. Good basic planes to play. Yeah. Nice. Chris, three. Uh, I think for the health of the table, I think I should just block with the Dranath Magistrate. <laughs> it's up to you, man. Yeah. I, uh, I didn't really realize how much it actually locks you both out of playing, and it doesn't lock him out, so I'll block. Okay. Let him die. Go ahead. Let it let it rock. It's probably also actually better for me that you both have access to your commander, so it makes you... We can all take on him in case Edgar gets too crazy. He might, but I don't know yet. I don't know what kind of handicap. <laughs> we're, we're just vibing. You're just vibing? I don't, just, I don't know if I've ever seen that deck just vibe. <laughs> it's just vibe time, I swear. I promise. Please don't touch me. I've been a good boy. Uh, we are going to play a Scalding Tarn. And we're going to crack away the Scalding Tarn. Yep. Beep. This time I'm going to find a mountain. And the mountain is also going to be black, I guess. So it's going to be this bad lands. Here's a bad, it's land. Then I'm going to tap four, paying the one for the Esper Sentinel. I'm going to cast Smothering Tide. Ooh, okay. And then I'm going to pass the turn. Now I feel even less bad that I On blocked tip. the Dranith Magic. Draw. <laughs> Do you pay the two? No. All right. Not this time. Not those taxes. Uh, we're going to play Sanctum of Ugin, and then we'll tap five to get the Forsaken Monument out. Ooh. Do you pay the one to the Esper Sentinel? No, Chris can draw a card since he got rid of his Dranith. Uh, no. I am forced to draw a card because this is not a May. Fun fact. Do you want to pay two? I cannot pay two. Hey, that, that's a synergy. <laughs> that's a synergy. <laughs> All right. Uh, yes. So on tap, upkeep, we will draw, debating on whether I want to pay the two or not. Um... <laughs> I will not pay the two. You will not pay the two. I get the thing. But what I will do is we'll play a land, Spire of Industry. We're going to play the Citizen's Crowbar. Ha! So I'm going to make a 1-1 one, one green and white citizen. Yep. There you go. Uh, here's the 1-1. One, one. Uh, doesn't really matter too much because we're going to pay it two mana. We're going to move it over to the Esper Sentinel. Yep. And then we're just going to activate the... Chris is crowbar to shoot the smothering yep. tithe. Nice. See, it was just a four mana, three treasure. I will lose a life. Uh, then combat. I mean, at this point, you blocked with the Dran. If everyone else is unlocked, you dealt with my smothering tithe. Yeah, I'm not gonna attack you. Uh, I was gonna attack you. I'm depending between these two, which which one I'm more scared of. Well, you're gonna make a billion do, so I think I have to hit you now. Okay. I can. So six. it'll be six. I draw one card, and that'll be it. At the end of your turn, you have more creatures than I do. I'm gonna make a one one. Also, you have more lands than I do. I do. Wow. So here's the planes. Imagine that. All right, maybe I should get a keeper of the cord more credit. It's I mean, a... I, I, I feel like you don't just throw it willy nilly into any deck, but this is a mono white soldier deck. So like, yeah. 
Making one ones and giving you lands when people are ahead of you is nice. Like, not as a soldier. Not out of ten games, it probably doesn't actually do much, but like, it's a soldier. Yeah. I mean, all right, on top. Upkeep draw. Um. Oh, thank you. Mm-hmm. We're gonna play a Temple of the False God. Nice. Uh, it works. Four, four mural. You cannot cast spells anymore on my turn. Nice. Rats. Chris, you're gonna draw a card. Inspiring leader. <laughs> also, ah! we're gonna move the boots over to mural. Yeah. I have three soldiers. So this is how we're gonna split the damage up. This one will come at Chris, this one at Aiden, and Meryl will come at... That one will come at Kevin. This is a 1-1? One, one? Uh, 2-3-3. Three, three. A 3-3? Three, three? Okay. Everyone's taking 3 with no other effects. Yes. Um, You can't cast spells. I don't know, I can block. Oh! And you can all, Yeah, you can block and you can also activate lands. I think we're just gonna take it. Taking 3? You make 3 one ones, right? Yep, I make 3 one ones. I got you, I got it. Scary. They are artifacts, that's right. They are artifacts, very importantly. They are all three threes. All right, um, I will pass the turn. Oh boy. Why are they three threes? Uh, this... Tokens, I have a plus two, plus two. Nice. As long as he controls his commander. As long as I control my commander. I will draw for turn. All right. Okay, everything's terrifying. Um, man, I wish I had that smothering type. <laughs> We're gonna play a bay. We're gonna play an Arid Mesa and crack it away. Hey Chris, do you happen to play like the fuck your non-basic lands in your deck? Blood Moon? Like Blood, Blood Moon? Moon? No. Actual Moon? No. Uh, I figured I'd be a bit mud too much. <laughs> Here's the plateau. That's still in here. Shuffle, shuffle. Also, ironically, Blood Moon really hurts me because I, I use a lot. I use my lands for a lot of stuff. Yes, that's fair. Put that down there. We are going to like imagine shutting off your own inventor is fair. Yeah. Right. Tap the plateau in order to cast Voldaren Epicure. Voldaren okay. Epicure on cast is going to make me a friend. And then on ETB, one damage to each opponent and I make a blood token. Wow. And then for my next twick, uh, we are going to tap away the Scrubland and the Badlands and the Racto Signet. We will not be paying for the Esper Sentinel. Uh, I didn't, to answer your question, this was the kind of hand that I ultimately kept. Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. Oh, that well, smothering that's... tithe would have been funny. Thank God I, I did what I did. But man, I'm really sad. Okay. Uh, yeah, that, that happens. Yep. So we draw seven. Yep. What do you lose? Why are you uh, sad? L Lauren of the third path. Man, oh, that would have been three for three. Authority games. of the consoles. Uh, Sunforger. Wow, oh, that's rough. I lost the plans in an Elspeth. <laughs> okay. Okay. How terrifying, Foley. Oh, very. <laughs> oh, baby. And these are <laughs> artifacts? Th th these ones are artifacts. This one is not. Colorless artifact? Yes. Well, yeah, yeah. That's important. Colorless soldier artifact creature tokens. Fully, holy, holy. Because I have um, Ashna's altar in here, so. Fully, bully, dolly. Yo, what's up? Noly, what's holy. Up, dude? What's good, fam? Sadness. Sadness on the stack. That's... Sadness resolves. We can... Make more guys, I guess, and then die next turn. Sure. Yeah. yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. I get a set. I go up to seven guys, and then he makes a guy. That's good, right? That's what we want. Oh no. We are going to play. Fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tap two. We're gonna play Talisman of Indulgence. And then tap the Talisman of Indulgence, losing a life. We are going to play Pulse Tracker, which comes with a friend. There we are. And then we are going to pass the turn. All right. Untap. Draw. Hmm. That's kind of neat. Uh, ba, ba, ba. All is dust. <laughs> That's why he's asking about colorless. I'm going to play a Jeweled Lotus. Nice. Mm -hmm. This is going to tap for three because of this. And uh, this is gonna crack for three more. Oh, it's him! It's it's our boy. Wow, wow crazy! You have, you have two Lotus is insane. So now we still have <laughs> two, four, six. You have six mana. Ooh, which one do we do? Which one do we do? The good one. I want you to do the good. The good. They're all good. They're all good, Calvin. And that's the problem. Two, four, six. Oblivion Sower. 
Uh, <laughs> oh my god. I'm in the game too. Who are you talking to the Bolivian Sour? Uh, you, I guess, whatever. Me for my lands? Yeah. Uh, okay. This one, this one, this one. No lands. This one. No lands. All right, that's cool. You did it. Uh, that is A-OK. -okay. These guys are getting plus two, plus two from the monument. Just heads up. Um, and then we're gonna pass the turn. All right, so on tap. Oh, did you pay for your Jewel Lotus? No. Okay, so we, we drew an extra card, chat. Don't worry about it. Untap, upkeep. Um, in my upkeep. I agree. Um, I'm scared. Yeah, I'm... Hey, Zoe, right? hi, how are you doing? What do you think? What do you think Chris should do if he's scared? Yeah, I'm scared. Uh, stand there. Yeah, are you going to block for me? Can you, can you block? There you <laughs> go. Just, just... This is a pretty tough cat, so... Um... So what are your choices with your five mana? Uh, I think we're just gonna we're just gonna hang out. We're just gonna chill. Uh, we're just gonna draw this card. That doesn't really help us. Um, here's a mana confluence because we, who needs a life total? Am I right? Uh, we're gonna cast a open the armory. Makes sense. Uh, we're gonna go uh, dick around for an equipment. Okay. I don't like that my life total is super low, so I'm just gonna grab this shadow spear. Yeah, that's neat. Shadow spear is fine. Gaining life makes sense. We are going to play the Shadow Spear. Yep. And then we're going to e equip said Shadow Spear to Akiri. So now Akiri's a 4 4 with Double Shrike uh, and Trample. I am going to move to combat. They got plus two, plus two. Three. Yeah, that's okay. Hey, Calvin, I'm going to swing at you for four with Double Shrike and Trample. Why me? Blockers for the fucking. <laughs> For the stalks happening over there, it's only six creatures. <laughs> you know, you know as well as I, I, I do. I know, I know. I'm gonna draw a card for tagging you. Eight damage. It is eight damage. Eight damage coming my way. Take it. Take it, he says. Take it. Take the eight, and so I can die to fully. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was trying to save this for fully, but I'm gonna use it on you. I am going to crack two in order to cast the Rakdos Charm to blow up the Shadow Spear. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Are you paying? No. Um, really didn't have to do that. You didn't have to attack me. I, I'm coming for you. Okay. Uh, so now it's three three with double strike. Three three double strike. Um, at which point I will just block with a yeah. We'll just block with a one one. Okay. Uh, move to, I'll pass turn and move to discard. All right, Calvin, is there anything you want to do? Uh, before you have your way with all of us? Uh, yeah, I agree. This is an outrage. <laughs> uh, nope. Okay. Nope. Enemy. I'm going to discard his Conqueror's Flail and then Ooh, Aethis Worm. Mono White, end us. I'm always here for Mono White ending. Um, okay, well, that's for later. Uh, let's play a planes and then count up our mana. Two to play this mind stone. We have seven. Like this. And play this true conviction. What's that? Uh, creatures I control have double strike and lifelink. Nice. Oh, um, yeah, you can have it. Woo! I'm in danger. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm gonna die, <laughs> guys. <laughs> guys, <laughs> holding this soldier back, we're Just going that. to swing with everything else. How? At well, who? Meryl's gonna come at Chris. The keeper is gonna come at Calvin. No, the keeper is also gonna come at Chris. Um. We have, we're gonna have two coming, two of these coming at Calvin and two coming at Aiden. Or okay. one coming there at Aiden. Three, three double strikers? Three, three double strikers. Okay. Trigger mural? Yeah, trigger mural. Um, makes some untapped. Yeah, the, I don't, this is the only one I have of this, so I'm going to make one, two, three, four, five, six untapped creature, uh, artifact soldier tokens. Tell us soldier tokens. I'm like, I will block them both. Okay. How are you blocking? You, who did you send to me? Um, two, two of those. Two three threes. Two three threes with double strike. Yes. One's coming out of Aiden. Oh boy. 
Just the one? Just one. I will block with the seven. Then. Okay. Oh, brother. Um, I'll block one and take six. Okay. Um, I'm going to gain six, 12, 18, um, 24, 30 life. Oh, boy. It'll be okay. Pass the turn. It'll, It'll be, be okay. okay. Yeah. Do, do, you ha- do you have the good for us? The goods. Nothing but the goods. Nothing. Colorless goods. Wasted goods. Oh, no. Draw for turn. Uh, we at least found land. Here is a basic mountain. Oh, brother. Oh, hey, brother. brother. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> hey there. I'm going to tap one, two, three. Right? Mm-hmm. This filters into. Mm-hmm. <sighs> Fuck me. Uh oh. Give me a black. Badlands. This filters into this, tap into this. Like that. I want to play Grim Tutor. Crack like the ball. Yeah. Ooh. Lose three to Tutor. What can we find to not die from <laughs> the guy? This feels like a Toxic Deluge kind of moment. This feels like a Toxic Deluge kind of moment, but I don't have a Toxic Deluge. Are you sure? What? I, I have a Livia's Wrath. What does that do? Uh, non-vampires. It does it to non-vampires. Just destroys them? For access of vampires that control it, yeah. But how many do you control? I only control three, which isn't enough to hit the... The mural or the keeper. Yeah. Mural but it's enough to keeper. hit all the tokens. Oh, man. Yeah, I, I agree, Zoe. This is some grade A bullshit. <laughs> oh, boy, Zoe. Yeah? Familiar. Attack! <laughs> Do you get fairies for <laughs> He's just like, like, hey, you guys can let, do it. Let's be I'm real. getting the fuck out of here. That would be really... I feel like getting to fairy protection is saying, I'm going to... My best chance is hoping he kills you guys first. <laughs> Which is uh, not where you want to be. <laughs> if you're in that position, you're probably not having a good time. No. Now here, keep in mind, these are Eldrazi. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Uh, we, 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 we got this. We got this chat. Are you, you going to cast uh, Did you lose your three, by the way? I did. Okay. I did lose my three. Are you going to cast it? What was the uh, chat? I'm not going to cast it at this moment. It was, it was the fairy's protection. You can't prove anything. <laughs> <laughs> you got nothing. It was. I'm going to cast uh, with one, two. I can do it like that. Keeping up those two. Forerunner of the Legion. I cast Forerunner of the Legion, I make a friend. Forerunner Legion enters the battlefield. I can search my lobby for a vampire, reveal it, put it on top. Captivating Vampire. Uh huh, I think I've seen this one before. <laughs> Captivating Vampire is on top of my library. If only he had a way to discard a card and potentially draw a card. I don't have enough mana to then cast it though. Oh, uh-huh. well. That sounds like a skill issue. <laughs> put this on top of my library. These are in play. I'm gonna. Enter combat, and I'm going to attack Chris for four with a life drain trigger. So each of you lose one on the attack. So I'll take five. And then I'm going to pass the turn. I don't like that you tutored. I was (laughs) going to do something, but I don't know, man. I don't know now. Just do it. I don't know about that. Just do it. Because fully still here. Hi. Oh, Foley is still here. Hello. I'm being, Mono White. Being a huge Fear me. menace. Mono White has gotten scarier lately. I've gonna I'm I'm gonna do this instead. Um we're gonna go with a Thought Not Seer. Targeting Calvin. Wow, two. that's fucking rude. It does just exile a card from your hand. Hey, if it leaves the battlefield, if I do what I was card. gonna do and you got what I think you got. Come That's on. just stinky time for them. Well, I got what you think I got. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> and also, no, I don't draw a card when it leaves the battlefield. He can choose a different opponent. Yeah, well, that's what I was saying. Oh, now? You can choose someone. Well, no, you've already targeted Yeah, him. I already targeted But when know. it leaves the battlefield, you can target someone else for the draw. Okay, okay. So, four, five... That'll leave... A colorless floating. Colorless floating. Um, and then we'll play our land for turn, which is Scorched Ruins. 
We're gonna have to sack these. Do you want to tap him for mana first? Can't. Oh, okay. Uh, you gotta read the card. Oh, know? okay. Uh, if this is gonna tap <laughs> for five colorless though, thanks to this, and I have that colorless floating, so we're gonna cast Ugin the Ineffable. Game two. He cannot be effed with. <laughs> uh, we're just gonna minus him and uh, destroy that fucking crazy ass. All right, I have a response. Uh oh, it's a fair Tapping these two and then these, I'm going to convoke the clever concealment. What is that? I'm going to phase out all my permanents. Oh my god, it's Teferi's protection. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird for Teferi's protection. You can't phase out your commander. You can't target it. You're right. So, But he does get to phase this out, which is... I'm, I'm phasing fun. everything except for my commander out. And I guess the... Uh, and the, you know what? And um, the boots as well? Yeah, and the boots. Um, so this this is at one for, what for no worth, reason. I still have I still have four um, untapped creatures. Untapped creatures. And do you want to keep your <sighs> inspiring creature with them? Yes. Uh, uh, oh, yeah. I'll keep that out as well. Uh, add the instep. Can I get another dice? Yeah. Uh, I'm going to enlighten tutor. So Chad, we, we've got yeah. quite a few options here. I'm dying, uh, yeah. Yeah, you know, we we don't really want to die, but unfortunately, they're not really giving us much of a decision here. If we're going down, sugar, we're going down swinging. Activate Ink Moth. Flashing Colossal Hammer. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> there is an Ink Moth in deck. Hell yeah. For that exact uh, interaction. Just hammer time. Did you ever, did you get a Forge Anew? Yeah, there's one in here. Because uh, that so lets you do something silly. Um, it puts it on top. It puts it on top. Oh, yeah. So on oh, tab, upkeep. I wonder what I'm gonna draw for turn. Oh my god, it's the guard is We're gonna cast a cigar Oh yeah, fuck it. We're just gonna we're just gonna beep beep. Uh, here's a Colossus Hammer. Uh, this is here. Holy smokes. Lar large lad. Um, Can you give a trample? Unfortunately not. Bang. I would have had trample, but someone blew up my shadow sphere. That's fucked up for no reason. Really? <laughs> when? <laughs> what? <laughs> You could have just blocked, but then but or trample. But you take less damage. <laughs> you could just not block. You wouldn't be dead. So unfortunately, I can't. Well, I guess I could swing because we can do this. Um, I'm gonna tap for three, and we're gonna cast a sword of hearth and home. All right, which will yeah, auto be equip. equipped here. Um. So all of your creatures are phased out. Except for these four and this one. Fuck. So you still have blockers. He does. So there's actually, there's, there's no reason to do that. Um, do you want to take the sword back? Yeah, there's no reason to play the sword. Because I can't I can't really hit anyone. Um, pass. Okay. Well, I guess I should probably, I, I guess I should probably just swing a carry at someone to, to draw a card. Uh, I, and I'll just swing it at you. Uh, it's a 13-13 with double strike. I'm gonna be real with you. I don't want to take that. Um, you just block with the. It doesn't have trample. You can't take that. <laughs> block Boom. with the thought knot. Have Chris draw an extra card. Yeah. Sweet. Extra card. Chris, did you find it? No. Nice. Uh, did I play a land this turn? Dude, I don't think you have. Uh, so we'll play his planes. Um. And yeah, that's it. Go ahead. All right. Yeah, all my creatures come back. Come Lucky back. for us. Baby, um, come back. So let's see here. We have I mean, this is a one. This is a white soldier to create soldier creature thing. Objects. Words. Words. Um. So we have one, two, three, four, five, nine total. So let's just represent that here with that, and then we'll take these two off if we ever need to have tap uh, tokens. Great. Let's draw. That's pretty good. Let's just play it. I'm gonna play Dawn of the New Age. What's that do? It's going to enter the battlefield with a hook counter for each creature I control. At the beginning of the end step, remove a hook counter from the Dawn of the New Age. If I do, draw a card. Then a Dawn of the New Age has... If it has no hook counters on it, I get sacrifice and gain four life. So you're going to get a lot of hope. So 9, 10, 11, 12. That's a lot of hope. It's a lot of card draw. Can you got me another dice? Yeah. And to be fair, it's only one on each of my end steps. It's a nice card. Yeah. We're going to play planes for turn. Um, let's... Go with this and play a Strixhaven Stadium. Hey, somebody's hey. gonna lose. I'll put a point counter. Can I have, sorry, another dice? You're fine. 
Uh, with a point counter, what are you casting? Uh, I'm going to cast Captain of the Watch. It is a soldier, so I'm going to draw a card off a folk hero. And then uh, all the soldier creatures I control have one, one plus one plus one in Vigilance. When it enters the battlefield, I'm going to create three one one soldier tokens. Nice. So they're going to be here because they do not have haste. Or, and they're not artifacts. And yeah, this one isn't either, but. Thank you, Kelvin. Yep. Great. Chris is dead. Maybe. I mean, I'm dead if he wants me to be dead. Yeah. There's not a whole lot I can do to stop him, considering I can't cast spells. In my defense, I will say, I did block with the Dread of the Magistrate. You did. But I also played the Dread of the Magistrate. <laughs> so I guess this also a... not attack. I guess also you can't hit Calvin either, so. I can't, actually. So, so uh, you, they're just both dead, right? Because uh, this is um, three yeah. times, or six Four times. times. Six. Wait, six times? It's, they're three, three. Oh, no, yeah, you're right. Four. So eight damage for each of them times nine. You hit Chris with nine of them. That's nine point counters to Strixhaven Stadium. And you hit Aiden with your other three creatures. He can't block all of them. And then uh, you pop off the Strixhaven and then Stadium. And pop off Strixhaven so Stadium kill both on of them. Aiden. Well, do, do the same, do your attack. Yeah, so all the soldiers are going to go at Chris. I actually was going to leave him alive, but whenever it is, I can kill both of them. And then the rest of the, these, these three are going to come I in. I told you it was Teferi's protection. <laughs> well, actually, actually, you know what? Hang on. Oh, I'm hanging. No, these three are going to come at Chris, and these nine are going to come at Aiden, because he can kill my commander. I'm still going to get all the points. So, is there so still... do you kill Chris? I'm, I'm going to, I can remove the points to have him, him die, right? Have me lose the game. Can you kill me with the nine? Four oh, I guess you're right. I guess nine, I, what's what's eight times seven? Four times seven. Wait, what? Or eight times seven? Fifty-six. Fifty-six. So yeah. yeah, you still kill me. Yeah, that works. Yeah. You keep everything. You okay. can block two guys. So and fifty-six plus or uh, sixty. I'll block two guys. Okay. But <laughs> uh, I'm gonna gain eighty life. Ba, 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 ba. Calvin, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Oh, He's you gonna... also made a bunch more soldiers, right? Oh, yeah. I'm going to make 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 soldiers. Mm-hmm. And then two of them are dead because they're blocked. Uh, I draw for turn. And then... So, six... Uh, d- uh, did two die? Two yeah. should die off okay. me blocking. So... I, I don't think the captivating vampire is enough. <laughs> oh. So, I'm going to go from 9 to 7, and then 7 plus 16 more. So, that's... That's what? 23? Crack the blood token... Discard veto. Uh, draw for turn. Can I get more dice? Yeah. Just hand me the container. Here you go, buddy. <laughs> Just hand him the container. Uh, wait. 7 plus 16. 23, right? Is that math? Hmm? 7 plus 16? Uh, I, dude, I yeah, think. that's 23. All right. 12, 16. Bless Masak. Yeah. Olivia, if I drew Olivia's wrath there, I, I would have done it. I think. 12, 24. Because you had more. Okay. I don't know no, if that's I, a, I don't know if that's enough because I'm bad at math. Math uh, is for blockers. I, 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 yeah, I don't think it matters. I think he's dead as fuck. We don't got it. Oh. <laughs> Kelvin, so, I would like to attack you with everything. Yeah, uh mm. We got smoked. Choo choo. Holy fucking shit.